Alicia Garza, co-founder of Black Lives Matter, did an interview in L with Melissa Harris Perry. For those of you who don't know, Melissa Harris Perry is um, is the editor at large now for L. You know that was her move after MSNBC. So the piece is why Black. It's titled "Why Black Lives Matter." Alicia Garza won't support Hillary Clinton. She goes on to talk about in the article how she did support Bernie Sanders. She did vote for Bernie Sanders in the California primary. Um, how she, at least at the time this article, did not intend on you know supporting Hillary Clinton. Um, but what I really liked was when she was asked, what happens if, what do you, what do you see happening if Trump is president? And what she said is, the question is, she, she, well, the question is, if Donald Trump is elected, what do you think is going to happen to the movement for Black Lives then? And I think this is actually, could be for any of our progressive work, any of our movement work, right? Hopefully what happens is that it gets stronger and it gets more strategic. The next, the last question was, if Donald Trump wins the American presidency, because they also had a conversation about shoes and fashion a little bit too. It's, it's, it's a fun piece, informative piece. If Donald Trump wins the American presidency, what shoes are you going to wear for the inauguration? Alicia says, running shoes. But what I liked, what I liked, and this is my closeout for the night, because I really thought this was a powerful statement, and we need to consider this regardless of who is in the office going forward. You know, if you're considering going green, go green. You know what I'm saying? I encourage people to make an informed decision about what they're doing. If you decide that you need to hold your nose and vote for Hillary, I'm not going to disown you. Some people might, but I'm not going to, because at least you made an informed decision. You made a choice. Your vote, your voice, your choice. Do what you got to do. Um, but just make sure you're engaged and involved in the process. That's really what we need to change more, you know, more than anything else. We need people engaged to stay engaged in the process. So you go in green, go to local meetings, help build off the party, help do outreach and engagement and stuff like that. Don't just say, oh, I voted. We need to move beyond that, right? So she says that um, what I liked, and I'm closing out because it's time to go, it's time for Ben. But what she said was real quick, Oh, there it goes. Our job is to keep our communities engaged and keep our communities mobilized. And the running shoes would really be for we got to get moving. We have a lot of work to do. What are you or what are we going to do to make sure our democracy changes? How are we going to be fighting back under a Trump presidency? And then who are we going to be running to take power? Who are we going to be running to take power? Brand new Congress, People's Convention. Check it out. I'm out. Good night. Peace. Way with a Noah.